Hey there, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest may look sweet, but don't let her pretty face fool you. She's the call it like she sees it sassy one on Bravo's Rip Housewives of Potomac. And now she's also here to set the record straight on the recent halt in production after allegations surfaced against her husband, Michael. Please welcome Ashley Darby. Yay, Ashley! <laughs> I'm pretty lady. How are you? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right Thank you. Hello. Ashley, how are you doing, my dear? I'm great now. Yes, yes, you are. You look amazing. Thank you. Well, yes. you know, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this thing, girl, and address the issues because it's been a lot being said, honey. Yes, there has. How about that? So there are some allegations stated by a cameraman um, that your husband touched him inappropriately. Mm -hmm. Can you expound on that? So uh, allegedly, my husband touched one of the cameramen who then decided to file a police report in mm -hmm. Montgomery County. And the way Montgomery County works is as soon as a report is filed, it goes into the system, whereas in other states, it actually goes to a prosecutor first, and then they decide whether or not they're going to analyze it. Mm -hmm. But in Montgomery County, that's it, kit and caboodle, mm -hmm. and then it gets evaluated oh, later. Wow. Okay. However, he decided to go to the press mm -hmm. and made the press and the court of public opinion mm -hmm. judge. Yeah. So, so do you think that it was a situation where he was just trying to have get financial gain? Do you think that he wanted your husband to be arrested and, and sent away? Like, what do you think his motivation was? Honestly, we've been thinking about it so much. I can't figure out what his motivation could be. We've been nothing too nice to them. We treat our production team like family. We film five days a week, mm -hmm. yeah. multiple hours a day. So I spend so much time with these people. They're like my family. Right. So when we try to think about what could his rationale be, Michael and I are just stumped. So mm. is that person still working? No, ma'am. He quit mm -hmm. right when he filed the charges. Mm -hmm. And set the record straight, was your husband ever a prosecutor for that? No, or? he was not. It was thrown out by the court. Right, thrown out by the court. court. No, no okay. trial, nothing. No, no Just nothing. thrown out. Yep. All right. So yep. let's, let's talk about you yeah. and being on... Okay. Uh, <laughs> get the, get the, get the, I know. Yeah. Like, shake, 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 shake it out a little shake bit. Shake it out. Okay. All so right. let's talk about you and like putting your life in public display. Mm -hmm. How has uh, the Real Housewives of Potomac helped you and how has it hurt you? Mm. I've certainly grown. Yes. Quad, I'm sure yes. you can attest. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They'll put you through the ringer. You will grow. It's yes, <laughs> you will. You have no choice. Yes. And so I, and I was really young when I started. I was 27. So I was the youngest housewife ever in the franchise. Mm. And um, I, I honestly, I had just gotten married. Everything was so new to me. I just started my first business. It was a lot to endure for the first year, yeah. but if anything, I learned a lot about myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I it's like helped me. you. A lot. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I got to tell you, my hat goes off to you because you definitely put your all your issues out front and center. Uh, you've had struggles with uh, of having a baby, you and your husband, with conceiving. Mm -hmm. um, and how does that, how, how, do, how does that play out for you in the public eye? It wasn't really hard for me to share my story because mm -hmm. I know a lot of women have dealt with this. Um, I've suffered a miscarriage in my early 20s and then this was my second one that I had just in July of this year. Mm -hmm. So my husband and I, and Michael has two children from his previous marriage, mm -hmm. so he's experienced fatherhood and now it's something so badly that I want for us to experience yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. Now I gotta ask you, there's mm -hmm. been a big issue on this show with the relationship between your husband and your mom. Mm -hmm. Where Who were is here you today? all now? Yeah. yeah she Hi, is. Mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom and, and Michael are two very strong personalities mm -hmm. and they both care a lot about me and I understand that. Mm -hmm. um, they've definitely had some growing pains, mm -hmm. but it's safe to say that now they're in a good place. Good. Well, yeah, why did you look over there when you said that? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure. I just, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, okay. Right, okay. Cool okay. today? Right, yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I that's think we're good, good today. Good. Well, yeah. Ashley, you know, you've been able to do so many uh, great things. You talked about your first business and now uh, Zen Gym. Talk yeah. a little bit about that and your love of yoga. Uh, Selena is a yogi. She's yes, a yoga instructor. Oh, nice. I actually uh, do yoga as well. So this okay. is, you know, this is right down our, our passion as well. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I became yoga certified in February. So I'm mm -hmm. an actual instructor. Mm -hmm. And part of what pushed me to pursue yoga is being on reality television mm -hmm. and so many of the things that are said to me. The words that people say on social media can be so damaging to oh, one's self-esteem. Yeah. But when I found yoga and I realized that 
it, it's a principle that focuses on inner contentment. Mm -hmm. So cool. not allowing the words that other people <laughs> say to define you, yeah. mm -hmm. that has been so instrumental in my growth and development. And that's what I want to promote with Zen Gym. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm teaching yoga to inner city students, especially in Southeast DC. Come love on, that, yeah. love that. I took yoga to Downward Dog. And, <laughs> yeah, I remember a couple warrior of Warrior one, yeah. warrior two. Yeah. 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 And to meditate. So yeah. yoga is actually a form of meditation. Yes. It's not just about the practices, but when you're actually doing the poses, you're focusing on the poses, so you're yes. really meditating. Yeah, yes. that's awesome. Yeah. I love that final shavasana. It's yeah. the best thing ever. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. <laughs> oh, yes. Ashley, that's not the only thing you're promoting. You're promoting your new single. You yes. have a single called uh, A Coffee and Love. Coffee. You wrote that song for your husband. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little about that, a little bit more about that, and are you planning to pursue music? Yes, so I've been singing for a really long time. It was my talent at Miss America. Mm -hmm. I was in Las Vegas on the Miss America stage back in 2012. Mm -hmm. And I wrote the song for my husband mainly because we were going through a really difficult time. We had been separated for mm -hmm. six months. And I was like, what better way to show this man how much I love and cherish yes, and then yes. to write him a little tune. Yes. Yes. So I wrote Coffee and Love for him. And there are lyrics in there that are specifically for him. So yes. he knows Give it's about him. Uh, uh. Um, thank God for ZZ Top. Uh -oh. mm. So my husband actually got to stay in the United States because of ZZ Top. Oh, really? mm -hmm. wow. wow. It's thank a, God. It's compelling. <laughs> it's, it's a compelling story. Yeah, you yeah. are just absolutely you gorgeous. Are. I'm thank so glad you. you were able to use Sister Circles, your platform, to set the record straight about your I husband. I know, that's right. Thank Always with Echo North Policy. That's right. Uh, make sure you continue to watch The Real Housewives of Potomac. It airs Sundays on Bravo, and you can download her single, Coffee and Love, on iTunes. And remember, the conversation always continues online at Sister Circle TV. And for